<laughs> so right here we have marinated roll mops. So it's kind of like a pickle, but instead of a cucumber in there, it's fish. Oh! <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. The way you were speaking to her was just so inappropriate. She is a minor, may I remind you, a minor. You do not speak to them like that. She's a child legally. Yeah, uh, underground not, people are shit. not talking about this right now, okay? Let's just get the podcast done. We can talk about it after. I have something that will redeem Matt right now. It's called the three Dragon Ball Destiny. I put this in my mouth. I spit a transfer to you. You must catch it in your mouth. We have three attempts. Do not think, just do. This is not gonna work. Okay. Too high. Oh fucking hell! You're you. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode number thirteen of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast. All right, we've got a fucking jam-packed episode. We got the Great Debate makes a return. We got Matt's dream diary. We got a prank call at the end. We got f we have, we, oh, we've got uh, fussy little boys. Oh, no. we, we've got getting down with Brown. There's a whole bunch of shit coming your way, and it's crazy because we have five days until oh. we're fighting. Uh, wait, will you be out? This episode will be out, yeah. Yeah, will, will this be out before the fight or no, after the no, fight? No, this will be in two we weeks. We discussed this last week, Brown. Yeah, it's, it, you get lost in the universe. Yeah. It's already happened. We, so this is yeah. coming out in two weeks, so we don't know if we've won or lost yet. My God, I hope we fucking won because we've trained our little fucking fight. Off. And the hardest part is the eating as well. I'm so over eating. I did like, just have some Skittles and eating I feel guilty. Just, well, you're allowed to because you're trying to gain weight. I have to try and stay lean. And, man, I'm just so over, like, just eating, watching what you eat all the time, Ugh, training all the time, body's so sore. So, this But you front, look good. Yeah, yeah, I must admit, that is nice. And the, I know the, you're proud of it. The you before, showed me. The before and afters are going to look Marty quite nice. Marty was pregnant, like, let's go, Dude, two like, months I ago. Really, I can't believe you Three guys let ago. me get that back. And you yeah. guys never said a thing to me, No, I was way. telling you you look like shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, was, you very, know, you don't, I can't tell. I, I was look, getting my gut out and being like, look at this, and you guys are <laughs> and then moving on. No, I would tell you. I'd be like, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah, you, Michael's the only one who told, said, put a fucking shirt on, dude. That looks terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying when you had a shirt on. And like, yeah, so things got shit. When Bosley died, things just took a turn, and, and I got fat. And the heart shit, and then the holidays. It was just a fucking mess. So there have been some benefits, and I'm, I'm, I reckon we can win. I reckon we've, we've won. Imagine, okay, even I'm though we're massive, how scary is it? A bit scary that we're underdogs. We're paying like two dollars fifty five. I've never fucking fought. I've all my. <laughs> this is my idea of a fight. <laughs> I mouth off at someone at a bar, <laughs> I get hit in the face, and then my friends come and help me out. Well, that's kind of like what we're doing on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's well, exactly the same. I should try and kiss them. <laughs> yeah. It's just blow like old time kisses. kisses. You yeah. should blow kisses during the fight. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, hope, man. I hope everything is still... I hope I still think the same. Actually, yeah. I know. I hope we're I not going to die, yeah, but like right. you know, it's still a, it's still scary, and you know, it's just it's always in the back of your mind. It's hard to so filming has kind of come to a grinding halt because it's hard to try and be funny, and it's it's kind of stops you creatively as well when you're just a little bit nervous all the time. You have this anxiety in the back of your fucking throat. But man, I'm keen to fucking punch on and man, then fucking get on it. Eh? It's it's going to be a biff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called? A yeah, beef. Uh, yeah. So Dude, I think you guys are going to do so well. I have so much confidence in you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're going to do pretty well too. My and heart will be shattered if you lose. Dude, I, so really well, I really, that's one thing I'm most nervous about is knowing the crippling depression that will follow if we lose like it, so that really what, oh, what about just the fact that we got in the ring is pretty rad yeah whatever yeah any I, cunt can get in the ring yeah no, i'm with true. marty because i i remember watching when marty did his exhibition box yeah the depression like, that i felt after that was it, he horrific. lost a fight that he, well, he didn't do bad in but then he stood at the walkway and just stared at the ring for like 20 minutes and i think no, yeah, no one's It was, was like, because mostly of that was because I felt like I had so much left in the tank and I was so annoyed at myself because I didn't fucking throw empty more. it. I didn't, yeah. yeah, I didn't I didn't do what but I know you, I could you do. You hate losing in general. You're a competitive. Yeah, you, both boy. of you are competitive, very competitive. But with Marty, I, I really feel that during one of those fights, I think the fight before there was like an obliterating knockout and your coach was also the person running the thing. And so he wasn't there to give out this motivational speech. Yeah. And you weren't motivated. No, no, I was, yeah. I kind of yeah, froze. I, mean, I kind yeah. of froze. But anyway, look, 
this weekend it's fucking on and that's all we've been doing that's all we think about it's just like it feels like our world has just come to a stop until this fight is done yeah it's really made working hard what a paranoia paranoia he looks like he's going to a like a kid's sleepover but Matt, as an adult so i know do I, you. I know i'm no i know I you can't look like talk. a child you look like you're trying to attract them <laughs> With the clothes and then you've got the fucking dog collar on, which makes it sexual somehow. <laughs> As a parent, you should be a child, Mark, because if you let your kid go to school dirty, you're a fucking dickhead. Yeah, so all good parents are child Yeah, so it's good Where to fucking with your kids with if you're a father <laughs> and a mother. That's also, good guys, by the way, like we're running, we're doing, right now it's like beginning of May, we're giving away 50 grand. That's a fuck. That's like two million dollars. So any website members? No, it's not. That's close to two million dollars. With inflation, okay. yeah, okay, yeah, right. In two years' time, it'll be worth like two million dollars, fifty grand. Yeah, that makes sense. It's I a think. house deposit. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so fifty thousand dollars. All you have to do is be a member of our website. Regular members get one entry. Premium members, twelve entries. <laughs> 50 grand, that's life changing. Mate. I have been told that I cannot win it if I sign up. Yeah, so. well, yeah, well, because yeah. everyone would be like, it's a bit unfair and it's rigged. Yeah, okay. But, you know, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I, even if you did legitimately win, we yeah, would be able you to wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. It just it doesn't seem it right. It kind of sucks because, like, we're signed up to our website well, too. Well, it has stopped me from, like, signing up to other influencers' websites just because I know that they draw my name and go, oh, we can't give it to him. Yeah, like if so we I do one of Shami's giveaways or something, yeah. Or, like, yeah, yeah any of them. So I just don't do them. But, yeah, obviously you guys who... Like, what if we legitimately do win, though? And, like, we figure out a way because it would be nice to be in the running. Oh I could man, use I'd that. I'd love to have 50K. I, what would you buy with it? I would put it on black at a uh, fake casino and lose it regardless, even if it won. I reckon Matt would get $501, $100 prostitutes. No, he would get fucking basketball cards mm. and prostitutes to open They're them. If you were single and you won 50 grand but the condition was you had to fuck a hooker, would you do it? Oh. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> that's an oh yeah. <laughs> that's a you know the answer. Don't make me say it. Face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, of my choosing. All yeah. right, look. All right, so we got a jam packed episode. Let's get the fucking sponsors out of the way so we can rip right in, eh? Three, two. I usually do three. Sorry. Just say one. One. <sighs> all right, everyone. <clears throat> As you know, look. Look at my legs, okay? For those watching, you know what that is? Manscaped. That was shit. This was shit a week ago. Go to manscaped.com. They got all kinds of male grooming Smooth. products. They got the newest lawnmower where you can shave your balls it's in the shower righteous. and you probably won't nip your nuts. Be careful because you still can, but just your likelihood is much, much lower. If you hold them taut, grip onto your balls and rip them up so the skin's taut. Strain then you can, it out. You can really rush up them with the razor, with the, with the lawnmower, and you'd be fine. It's and righteous. Then you're cleaning yourself in the shower, and then you just stomp your pubes down the drain. You're fucking sorted. You get outside. You go out, and you f whatever you want, and you can get f***ed off anywhere. Ooh, Jim, look at my words. Sex, less sex. No, you can't. That, well, that's why we do it. Yeah, yeah. I don't shave my dick for any other reason than getting sick. Off. I like it for aerodynamics. <laughs> yeah, I do like the feeling of air. It is good if you're a cyclist. It is good if you want to have sex. It's also good if you're a cyclist. And if you're an Italian or Hungarian woman and you're a bit of, bit of fur on you, it's for women as well. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. Link in the description. Go and just have a look and start bettering yourself and stop wallowing in pity and putting it off till tomorrow. I'm sick of your shit, bitch. It's righteous. Now go get s***ed off and think of me as you up that prostitute's tight throat hole. Save balls. <laughs> yeah, and if you're a woman, also, we save flaps and you balls. You can have sex with hookers Look, too. Cooper, one of our editors, we like when the Manscaped package came, they sent us a package last week. It arrived and we say to Cooper, Cooper, how much to you shave your head? And he goes, boom, 150 bucks. Boom, shave his head and it looks fucking great. And he made $150. Manscaped. So I've got a lot more respect for him now with the shaved head. He's a lot more intimidating. He's a bikey and, now. Yeah. That proves the product. If you use it, you get $150. Cash back. 
Yeah, and yeah, it I don't only know. costs like what? I don't even know. Not much, yeah. not as much as that. Look, they haven't conf- they haven't confirmed any of this Manscaped, but we're gonna go ahead and just say everything is is free on their website. If you go there right now, everything is free. All right, yeah. use our discount code fully actual twenty, and everything is free right now. That's not confirmed. Yeah, we're just saying that. All right, that's us saying. But if it. you go on there and pay for it, I think it's free. And you mean us, not us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obvious. Yeah, obvi- we save yeah. balls. Flaps. Sorry. Anyway, Righteous. Anyway, that's Manscaped, Three. right? And, of course, AG1. Now, I know you're sitting there looking at Matt thinking, fuck, he doesn't have long left. Oh. And you're right. <laughs> Matt would be f***ing dead if it wasn't for AG1. He started taking it. It's got 75 vital nutrients and minerals that you can't get from a diet. Mm. What, are you going to eat 75 different things every day? That's no, so weird. That's <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. Are you dumb? You're not Are you numbers. fucking dumb <laughs> f- ass? Your f- health is all that matters. C- trust me. Nothing else matters when you're the fear of death and death is knocking at your door. C- I was like hanging on Cliff with one hand and now I hang on Cliff two hands. All because of AG1. It's his monthly subscription. It rocks up at your front door. It's a powder. You drink it every day. It's it's scientific. Make it's sure you stir it. It's from the Pacific Ocean. Make bro, sure you bro, stir it, it a bit though. Stir it a bit. It's so it's science. Like, they pack so much science into this shit. It should be illegal. Like I run around telling people this shit should be fucking illegal because I feel so good on it. I feel like I've had fucking heroin again. They probably will try and moderated or something you're the millennium falcon so please now they've been saying look that that um oh, i don't know if we should, we should probably shouldn't say that 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 they're they're wanting us to um no let's be honest with everyone all right look guys look we got an email from ag1 and they said hey um the last few ad reads you guys have done um haven't re- really resulted in any in many signups so, so <laughs> let, let me be clear we have never profited from this podcast and the only way we can break even is if you guys support us and buy the shit that we tell you to buy. Do you want Matt to be to kill himself? Is that what is that what you want? Because I think it is. The, the way you guys are not signing up to AG1. Like, I've seen him. He will He's have to close. stay at Wholesome for another for the rest of his life. He's there for life, probably okay? even. Earning f all. Earning f all money in charge of this high pressure, in charge of all these fucking scum. C- he comes home and rages about every day unless you guys subscribe to AG1. Get some AG1 up here. The link is in the description. And fucking save Matt's life. If not for your own health, do it for his. All things aside, it is fucking good for you. No, so is, get it. Yeah. Joe, like, it is Joe really Rogan, good. Joe Rogan even yeah. um, talks about it. Yeah. Joe, like if Joe Rogan says it, like like surely he's not going to promote anything bad. Like look at him, bro. And he knows Graham Hancock. Bro. And he knows, he knows Gary Brecker. <gasps> bro, seriously. Yes. And that's another thing I heard. This is legit. On I listened to a Dana White podcast and he, he takes AG1 and he called Gary Brecker and goes, what do you think of this? And Gary Brecker fucking loves it. So there you go. Tried and tested and proved. It's fucking amazing. AG1, link in the description. Get off and feel good no, to keep not, this podcast not. running and Matt alive you must buy and please. don't forget to also like comment and subscribe please because that yeah. also helps oh man we're staying around oh. the 3k mark of 5 star uh, 5 star ratings on Spotify I would love to get to 3.1k oh. I just love seeing it go up that's my that's my little yeah. crystal thing. more of an ego thing yeah. Yeah. Us, but like, Matt we, can we also, try call mother to know, today Oh yeah, fuck. We gotta try that. Yeah. We keep, we keep, we, should, we gotta works. commit to this shit. Yeah, I know. Well, we need to. Oh, we well, need to change the rule because yeah. if you're not gonna do it, then our audience is. We just lie to them. Another no, thing- no. Oh, that is a guarantee. We are gonna 110 percent call it, even if we have okay, to. Okay. If that doesn't happen next time. week, what's something else we can do? Call your father. No. Can we so tell Greg good. to stop playing golf? <laughs> if you want, he's gonna say no. All right. Well, well, you know, you know what we forgot to speak about too is. Is last week um, an episode came out and ju- the episode that Julian was on, and within that episode, we you know you, there's been an ongoing running joke that Julian's oh, like man. a little like, you know he's a little SA boy and he stabs people. Yeah. And so- in that episode, we I literally like make a joke saying, "Oh, imagine like going in a shopping centers and stabbing people," and then the fucking stab things in Sydney happens and then that one at that church happens the day that that episode comes out so like an hour after it was released like we've fully and forgotten about that remember we filmed these two weeks prior so that basically Marty is Buddha 
I predicted that. Look, I've, I'm, I'm, apparently I can make crazy future predictions. That's okay? so weird. Yeah, so I, I've got to be careful with my jokes, all right? Because yeah. this it's quite powerful. And that's just a reminder to everyone that, yeah, we do record these. Uh, yeah, and also we've, obviously it was a joke and we like couldn't believe how unlucky the timing was. And, of course, we uh, the terrible, terrible thing that happened. We do not condone such things. Even Matt doesn't. Yeah, and, you know... Moving forward, just also remember we have a website where we post the most craziest shit that we can't post on social media. So if you want to support us, unlike Matt Brown, you can sign up to that. If you want to win and 50 it's grand. Free trial. I wanted to sign up, just but then... The link is in the description. You want to win 50 grand. Like we have over yeah, 300 right. videos on there. And what's what's just come out recent? What did we just oh, we post? We don't know what will be now. No, no. Oh, yeah. The Chat recent... GPT oh, yeah. decides had come out. And um, look, it, we Chat GPT decided the punishment for it's us. very and creative that little fucking robot thing. You have to like you have to be like keep because it's like oh I'm not allowed to blah. But so once you get get it to get specific and get past all the little rules it has, it was actually quite like yeah it, it was it's hormonal, up. quite hormonal, hormonal as fuck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, we've been on the run, driving in the sun, looking. That's up. a different TV Sorry, show. That's the OC. Dude. Well, how do you how did you how did you even do they even have DVD players anymore? Blu-rays. You can jet back to mine and pop a Blu-ray in. So, <laughs> so you can't put one of them in the PlayStation 5? No. Wow. I don't think so. I don't think anymore. You can put a Blu-ray in the PlayStation yeah, 5. Yeah, only Blu-rays, not DVDs. Yeah, not DVDs. So, no, that, only so that is now obsolete. So One Tree Hill, no go. <laughs> yeah. That's hectic. Yeah. But if you've got an older version, like a PS2 or 3, even 4, I think you can put a DVD in. That's bullshit, man. No, 100%. Go home, try it, send me a message. All right, well, how about this then? How about I read the fucked up dream that you had? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm putting you, my seat back for this one. Let me tell oh, you, I've, I've had a little bloody read of it, Matt, and it is disturbing. Oh, fuck, Matt. It's doing that f***ing thing again, man. There's nothing wrong with the chair, Michael. It's all user Looking related. out for number one. All right, guys, it's time for the Brown Dream Diary. Oh, fuck. And yeah. this is a segment where Matt writes down all of the fucked up dreams that he has in hopes that someone out there will be able to interpret them and tell him tell him what the fuck is going on in his mind. Because you, you, you describe your brain as scrambled eggs, right? You don't know what's going on. You have no control of your emotions sometimes. Do you think there's a dream person out there no. who can go through our... I we mean, could yes. call them. And yes, they could, there is. They could tell us what oh our dreams God, mean. Oh, my God, dude. That would actually be a great idea. You remember that after, okay? And you tell me, okay? Well, you remember okay. that? You remember yeah. Don hey? Yeah. So we call a dream expert. Yeah. And, a and that's a prank expert. call. <laughs> Margaret Dude, calls us. A- there must be a dream expert out there. That yeah, would be right. a great oh, job. Oh, you just look him up online. <clears throat> Pardon? All right. Here we go. Sorry. <clears throat> so it's straight out of Matt's diary. Here mm. we go. <clears throat> I was swimming around in a bag of foamy fluid. There were millions of tadpole-like creatures just like me, but slightly different, swimming around with me. We felt safe in our warm little enclosure. I was playing with a few of my tadpole friends, frolicking with glee. One of them was named Rag, and he he was probably my best friend in here. (laughs) Race me from here to the other side, shouted Rag. Okay, I responded. We both took off swimming, weaving in and out and around millions of other tadpoles. Rag beat me easily. I had gout all through my tadpole body and it hurt to swim too fast. (laughs) You'll have to be faster than that when the big race happens. I was confused. (laughs) Big race? What do you mean? Rag gave me a surprised look. You know, the big race. The whole reason we exist? Everyone in here will be racing and only the very best will win. What? Where are we racing to? The egg mat. We're sperm. And only one can win. Then it (laughs) dawned on me. I was one sperm in my father's ball bag. And if I didn't win this race, then I won't exist. Before I even had a chance to <clears throat> to let this thought sink in, I hear a scream. It's happening! I looked up to see where what he was looking at, and a hole had opened at the top of the nutsack. Instincts, ki- instincts kicked in, and everyone began furiously swimming for the hole. I looked at my friend Rag, and he looked back at me. This is it, Matt. Good luck. And he took off. I swam after him, but my gout was slowing me down. <laughs> Suddenly, I felt a suction, and all the sp- were getting sucked up this small hole. We were all shoulder to shoulder fighting, fighting for front position. I fought hard and before I knew it, I entered the hole. It was completely dark, but I kept swimming. I got sucked around and thrown about, getting slammed into other sp- 
time, but I grit my teeth and kept pushing and fighting. I had to win or I won't exist. We were forced through looping loops and I was extremely disorientated. So many sp- smashing against each other. There was no more friendly, playful behavior. It was all pure competitiveness. Winning this race was our purpose. The rest of us will die. Finally, I see light in the distance. That must be the end of my dad's d- As densely packed as we were, we picked up speed and were aggressively squirted into a large cavity. This must be my mother's vaginal canal or whatever the oh. fuck you call it. We had room to move. I look around and see thousands of other sp- already dying. Some are ejaculated so aggressively that they die from slamming into each other. Others can't handle the physicality and just give up. This way! I hear a scream. I see a winding tunnel and start swimming. I'm close to the front, but there are still a few thousand sperms ahead of me, including my friend Rag. I felt a stir- surge of motivation and blocked out the gout pain. I will be the one to fertilize my mother. She's mine! As we swam up and around my mum's the sperms in front of me were dropping like flies. Some from exhaustion, some went the wrong way, and some were even killing each other. It was an all-out war and we swam for hours. I managed to avoid all obstacles and suddenly I was in the group leading the way. There were maybe a hundred of us. We turn a corner and then I see it. My mother's egg. It didn't look like I thought it would, but I kept going. I look over at Rag and his face is as determined as mine. We pull away from our group. Rag takes the lead, but I can see him struggling. He didn't have the endurance I had. We're getting closer and closer and I'm gaining on Rag. We're neck and neck, and now we're millimeters away. Suddenly, Rag comes to a complete stop. I zoom past him, but look back. His face is emotionless and cold. We had a bit of a lead on everyone, so I stop. Rag, what are you doing? We're so close. Let's fertilize mum together. Oh, that's oh, not oh, an egg, oh, Matt, oh, 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 oh. said Rag. Confused, I look back at the egg. It's brown and looks huge. What do you mean, Rag? What is it then? Rag hesitates. It's... It's a shit, Matt. Dad's a guy and we've been swimming up someone's cotton. I turn back to the shit and rag suspicions are confirmed. It's a hot, long, hard shit. In fact, I could smell it. I look back at Rag, who's now crying. It was all for nothing, Matt. We're gonna die here. The walls of the colon start to tremble, and I look back at the shit. It's moving. Oh, no. Run! I scream back at all the sperms, but it's too late. The shit shoots back out the colon, collecting all the sperms on its way. I was pressed against it as we went back the way we came at great speed. I can't believe my father has done this. I won't ever exist now. Me, along with all the other sperms, are projectile shit out of this arm hole and slam onto the pavement floor. In my last few seconds of life, I see my father handing a $20 note to a male <laughs> to shoot in a dark alleyway. More shit explodes from this man and completely covers me and I suffocate. That's when I wake up. I've once again made a huge mess and had a wet dream. Wow. <laughs> that was intense. Dude, Matt's dad. Oh, 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 man. Holy shit, man. Dude, dad didn't fuck oh. around, eh? Well, he... The guy, he did fuck around a bit. Yeah, sorry, I meant he did fuck around. Oh man, that was fucking beautiful. I thought it was gonna lead to maybe something in the stomach. But I then thought I, that was going. It's like a, it's like a cyst or something that I was going for. Oh yeah, yeah. Or like I thought, you know, it'd been uh, oral. Not yeah, yeah. No, it's just it was just a huge in a, in a, in a, in a male. Pro- oh man, that was that was beautiful. <laughs> that that was yeah, very good. Um, yeah, so. that was that was quite lovely. Yeah, well, look, if you like that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all right, and give us a five star review on Spotify because that's what keeps the ball rolling at the end of the day. And uh, we live for. We fucking want to move to the next level. We want to take this podcast to the next fucking level. So fuck, don't forget to fucking do all that shit. Otherwise, we die and we stop. This is season six and we're barely making a cent from this. We've dedicated six years of our life and Matt still works. He works hard and hard and nothing's coming from this. Nothing but problems at work from this podcast. So please just scroll up, move your finger slightly and give it a little thumbs up and a little subscribe and just, I don't know, comment something about Matt's appearance and give us a five don't star you want review. To f- free, Spotify, don't do you want to me. free this innocent face? Yeah. Anyway, let's have a fat, big, fat bong break, and Mm. we'll be right back with a great debate. (laughs) (laughs) Debate, debate between mates. That's right. 
There's, There's a great debate. debate. That's right. Hate, bait, hate, 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 late. Yeah, that's good. That rhyming. Oh. And this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head in a debate discussing the most controversial of topics. Now, it's, it wasn't even meant to be controversial. Now, it's important for me to remind everyone, okay, if you're easily offended or easily triggered, this is not the segment for you. Skip on to the next segment, okay? Do not watch this segment. The boys are going to say some things that they don't mean, okay? It's possible. You can say something and not mean it, and that's what's about to happen, all right? So... Do not take offence and do not think that they actually think these things. They're just trying to win the debate. We may. It's actually assault. We Sorry. may. You just assaulted Sorry. me. And Sorry. now Michael gets to choose. Sorry. Ooh. No, because Michael knows which one's which. No, he doesn't. No, I tried to. He, yeah. And it looked, to be honest, it might not matter. Would you like pro or con, Michael? Yeah, that's true. Wait, hang on. Do you, don't you get to choose? Do we choose? Uh, I was and then... going to choose, but you, but you no, assaulted no, do, me. Do you tell us and then we choose or do we choose and then you tell us? I think it's fun. I, I think it's funnier if you choose first. Okay, well, <laughs> if I get to choose, I will be con. Con? You're against this argument? Yeah. You don't get to you pull it out of his pocket. No, because you assaulted me. Yeah, dude. I you can't assault it. people. No, you can't buy bias to one person. That means you're leaning towards him you winning the debate. You can't assault people. Yes, I fucking can. Okay, I'll choose that one. I mean, I'll choose the other one. <laughs> Fuck, I'm pro. <laughs> Shitman. Yeah, but it could be something, uh, you know, interesting like that you. Which means you, Matt is con. So Matt is against this argument and Michael is Do for you know what con this means? argument. Con artist. Or mean, Connor. Sorry. Or Con Air. Good film. All right. <laughs> Today's great debate is... Oh, no. Oh, shit. Being gay is a choice. <laughs> Being gay is a choice. So pro, you're saying that it is a choice. And con, you're saying it's not a choice. They're born with it. So pro, it's a choice. Okay, so I'm saying it's a choice. <laughs> you're saying okay. gay people choose to be gay? And Matt, you're saying that gay people uh, are born that I'm way born and have no way. choice. Okay. Okay, fuck. <laughs> okay. All right, we start with, with uh, pro first. All right, you've got one and a half minutes, Michael. Convince us that being gay is a choice. Your time starts now. Shrek 3. Okay, so look. Put it this way, you've got five days in a week, working week. You got seven in a normal week. All right. Wow, that's a good point. Now, no, it's not. <laughs> do people choose to go to work? Yeah, a lot of people do. All right. So, do people choose to have weekends? Yeah. Depends on your weekend, right? The weekend's still there, though. All right. If you're thirsty, do you choose to have a drink? Yeah. You're still you're, thirsty whether you like it or not. Yeah, okay. But like, is it a choice to drink? If you did not want to drink, if you didn't drink, you would not drink. So I'm going to say, look, if you put it this way, you're at a party, there's a few drinks getting around, it's your mates. There's no girls there. What do you do? Just have fun and like hang out. You choose <laughs> to f*** <laughs> your mates. I've been, I've been, we've had, what about, uh, actually what about it got those? pulled up the other day. I remember we, we'd get bored at my house when we were growing up. So it's me, Henry, I think fucking Marty was there. Was I? We'd go, we'd, like, we would be bored. So what would we do? We'd have a shower together. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is going on? What about we, those people who are in long-term relationships and get married? Surely they're not just mates having a laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But the action itself is a choice. So, so the action choosing. of being gay is a choice. Yeah, yeah. Time! Point. All right, Brown. Your rebuttal in three, two, one, fuck. I like to draw all our attention to the word. You can't draw. You know, no drawings Michael, like that. Michael, Sorry. you may not interrupt. I didn't If draw. he interrupts again, I want a point. Okay. I like to draw everyone's attention to the word attraction. Now, attraction... You're, you're basically, it's no choice. You're born with what you're attracted to. So what I'm saying and what I'm suggesting is, is that when you're born, you're either attracted to women or you're attracted to men. Or both. Or both. Or neither. Or neither. Or kids. Or kids. And what I'm saying is that if you're attracted to men, 
You can't help that. You're born that way. What about is you're just, saying gays? Not just men on men, you know, but both of you have both just kept going about men on men. Yeah, gays yeah, can be yeah, women, tongue on tongue. Uh, you know, yeah. No, that's lesbian. As gay, les- lesbian. Gay. Uh, yeah, just gay, gay, in gay covers both. Keep up with the times. So, hell, you're watching Fox News. You're or drawing. You haven't even got a pen. Uh, all right, continue. You've got 20 seconds. I've defeated you already. You're attracted to it. You can't help what you're attracted to. You are born with what you're attracted to. I know men who are gay and they have tried to have sex with women, but they can't help it. So they picture men to get through it. Okay, so you're saying that you, there's like they can't help it. They That's can't just... help it. It's what they're born with. So what do you think about pedophiles then if they can't help it? Pedophiles are fucked. But they're born with it, wasn't they? Yeah, choice? they can't help it. They're born with it. Yeah, Time! right. Okay. That was me being sarcastic, by the way. <laughs> if anyone picked up that sarcasm. <laughs> And sarcasm is not good in debates, especially these ones, man. You know what's not good in debates? <laughs> you. Okay, all right. That's enough trash talking. You you have now have one minute to rebut to his, uh, his whatever the fuck he said. Okay. Yep. Ready. Okay. Three, two, like one, go. To all choice. right. Now let me lay out a case for you. Okay. I'll just open up my files. Anything in my brain. to, to rep- in response to what Matt said? <laughs> yeah. Right? I don't even need to question that because he's basically just what he's trying to say is that. Pe- are everywhere and we need to be we're not talking be, about files we're talking about gay now also what's trending number one on netflix at the moment logan paul no it's a show called baby reindeer now in baby reindeer a man haven't seen it gets raped by another man well it's number one you should you should keep up with the times brown you're a Come movie on, expert the continue the man in this show gets raped by another man that rape causes him to choose to be gay. Now, he might not have chosen to get raped, but he did choose after the rape to then become gay. No, he was he was a bit gay before that, wasn't he? Because no, he was no. dating a tradition. Did you even watch no, the he show? No, didn't, he didn't date. He, look, he, the show's number one. <laughs> Time. <laughs> the show's number one is his final <laughs> And he made it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, Matt, Push rebuttal. Tumble, Three, two, one, go. So you're saying that um, due to... <laughs> <laughs> this man turn gay? I don't think so, Michael Brookhouse. Sorry. Okay. He was attracted to men. You should actually say I don't know so, because if you think that's not hundred percent, which means I'm right. No. The it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You whatever you're attracted to, you you are not choosing that. You are born with it. The feeling is anything you can do to change up? So the feeling deep down in your soul, in your heart, and the love that you feel, it comes from a deep, deep and deep place. You sound like a pet. Oh. <laughs> You're going on about tractors. This isn't a farm. This like is a fucking debate. Defending yourself in court. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. You're soaking up my time sorry, with your sorry, comedy. Sorry, sorry, You're meant to be the judicator. Sorry, sorry. I've lost what I'm saying, but anyway, what I'm saying is you don't get a choice. You're born. (laughs) Time. All right, you're born. You don't get a choice, you're born. (laughs) All right, look. Sorry, I'm laughing at and just laughing yeah people. look remember guys again we don't mean any of that that's all none of that is our actual opinion okay but it's michael's yeah. with you going on about fucking yeah, anyway track man not everyone's grows up in a farm matt not everyone has tractors i didn't grow up in a farm he did have a tractor though no oh hmm. wow that's just palm beach mine. anyway yeah. leave in the comments who you think won personally i think I think Matt had it this week. Um, I thought Michael needed to address the things that Matt was saying a bit more and and hacking. You had that. I was trying to give you that angle, like the the the. Um, Maybe address the debate. Well, you know, it's his choice. He can come. He was just kind of bringing up other and pieces of evidence. Proof. You That's could- proof right there. It was my choice. Therefore, I technically won. Yeah, you chose it's to a be choice. here. Everything but- is a choice. You make choices every day. Have you heard of First Choice? It's a cigarette brand. That's no, a not. choice. It's to- an alcohol brand. See, you don't even know your own facts. No, there is a choice. There is actually. Oh, yeah, sorry, there is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So there's sorry. two choices choice right there. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, sorry. but you're not attracted to cigarettes. To cigarettes. If you don't, <laughs> you choose. If you don't have them. tractors, then you don't fucking. You chose to smoke them. All right, look, it's getting out of hand again. All right, the great debate just. 
lights a fire of passion in all of our souls. Love is love, Michael! Uh, and we want to hear what you guys have to say about it respectfully, all right? L drop a comment if you think, if you agree with Michael. Drop a comment if you agree with Matt. And let's fucking blow the whole fucking world to pieces, baby. Let's become t and go on a, <laughs> go on a bank, bro, with fucking Strapped to a chest, <laughs> f*** it up, baby. Oh, fuck. You watch in two weeks' time, there's going to be a tag now in a bank. In a bank. God, it's good to get some, like, intellectual shit smeared amongst our other Man. fresh It's good to show that we can speak yeah, in, on, on the yeah. levels of a president. Bro, like, that was hectic, like, intellectual shit. Bro. That was lecturing. We're being mm. lectures. Yeah, I was like, I could barely understand you guys. It was so intensely intelligent. Yeah, you got to rewatch it like three times. Or and you got to get notes. the fucking dictionary out for some of them words you just was saying and shit. Mm. <laughs> it's an encyclopedia. <laughs> that was so fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Fuck, bro. All right, let's fucking move right <laughs> along to the voicemail segment. Hit it, Brown. Come on, Brown. You can do it. Hit it, Brown. Brown, Brown, Brown. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Three, two. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ring, ring in with, with your, your rings. rings. <laughs> and this is a segment where you guys text us, you leave voicemails, you, you leave stories, you send us pictures of your assholes and shits. So if you want to do that, just message us on WhatsApp or just on your phone on 04666023. Well, like I said, we have WhatsApp. It's the same number. And let's get this, this shit started, everybody. Can we okay. put a thing out saying that um we're getting a lot of really long, drawn-out stories that we want... We want the best short story. Yeah, yeah like try minute, and minute, minute and a half, guys, Max. Because if, if we have to read like a five minute story, it as good as some away. of them are, like, it's yeah, this, it, it just, we can only like squeeze like one in. So yeah, Michael has a reading capacity of a year three. But so also, it, having said that, that, they are fun to read. So if you just want to send one in, we've got, we do read them. So um, we, yeah, it's a good time. I have a very, I had a lot of laughs all the time every week. It's very, very giggly. Also, it's quite like traumatic. I get what Matt was saying about like, getting sent like real messed up stuff mm. it, it, but yeah like man there was <laughs> what did like, you what was it there's just like i saw like imagine like getting your whole your balls and your sack into your ass oh really yeah what? it was like Dude, show me that right now i don't know if i'll be able to find okay. it but we'll it do was, it at the end eh? it was strange and like then there's yeah there's oh man a lot of like graphic sort of x-rated shit oh look james Oh, oh my god, the shirts. shirts were in there. And um yeah, oh but me. look, this is important and it's targeted at uh, women. Yeah, I guess yeah, this, this is targeted is for at women. women. So this is our only segment specifically for women and so. deaf deaf women. Yeah, well that's perfect. Here we go. Well, I like this is Tom from Happy Hills Aging Care Facility. We've been in contact with your son, and he has sent us over your information. And we are thrilled to announce that you have been pre-approved for Happy Hills uh, Aging Care. So now I know you have a lot of questions. I'd love to get in contact with you at a later time so we go over uh, all the questions you have. But just this, um, fortunately, I couldn't get a hold of you now. So uh, just briefly, I will hand it over to our head of care. She can give you a once-over on some of the care concerns that you might have. Hi, Matt. This is Maya. I'm head of care here at Half Happy Hills, and we're excited that you're interested in our facility. And I just wanted to give you a quick once over about our program. So we specialize in elderly care for people with all different types of disabilities, from Alzheimer's to Down syndrome. So we're sure you would feel very at home here and comfortable. So we understand that there was some concern of your long use of adult diapers, but we're skilled in changing that for you. So don't feel ashamed. That is something that's very normal for people at your age. So we're excited to have you here in the golden days of your life. And I'm going to pass it on back to you, Tom. Hey, Matt. Yeah, that's just a quick once over the care. And as far as immigration goes, uh, your immigration status is pending. We've contacted your son. He's given us your um, your uh, information with that. So I'd love to hear back from you at a later date. And we can go over this um, more in depth. But thank you. Hope you have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you at Happy Hills. <laughs> Man, they sound so friendly, Matt. Well, you should fucking fuck them so too. Nice. That's perfect. They sound, That's they sound like they will fucking Man, murder me very in my good. sleep. James, bring them in. Look what we've just received in the mail. We'll put a pause to the uh, voice in voicemail segment for just a second. These are the singlets we're going to be fucking fighting. Oh, they brother. actually look. I, I I thought they'd be a bit cringe, but they look 
fucking great. <laughs> yeah, we're worried that we're going to be cringe as well. But so basically, you scan the QR code, and then you it takes you to the login, uh, the registration page. You sign up to our website, and you're in the running for fifty thousand dollars. We're going to be wearing this on fight night, and this is probably going to be covered in blood in a week's Ooh. time. Yeah. Hopefully not all ours. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very good. Thank you, James. Fuck yeah. That's beautiful. <clears throat> all right, look, so there you go. Something to think about, Matt. I honestly, just like from their voices alone, I would go to them. Those you know, are the best no, ones. You know what I heard? I, I pictured that character that Ben Stiller plays in Happy Gilmore. You will oh, sleep. I'll put you friendly, to sleep. But he's that's really, how they yeah. all are, though. They're all pretty much like yeah. that. that that's probably it. one of the best that we've heard so far out of all the retirement places that we've contacted on your behalf. I'm like, I'm not going to a retirement home unless you guys come with me. Well, we'll visit you, yeah. No, I want to be together well, with Matt, you. Matt, we have lives. We have to work. We can't no, all, no. Well, I'm not I going until you're ready to go. I retire in my mid-30s. I'm you're not going. At the end of your life. We're at the middle of ours. I'm not going until you guys are ready to come with I'll me. I'll come visit in like 40 years. Sorry. All right, this one, next one, I guess, is directed at you too, Matt, just because it's all sex and stuff. Why are they all directed at me? <laughs> well, it's just sexy, you know? Okay. Matt, you, you, I get you, you bring the sex appeal. You bring the sex appeal. It's appeal of this podcast. That is true. <laughs> okay, so it's quite a horror story. I don't know. There's probably going to be some censoring on this one for YouTube, so it might just be on Spotify. We'll see what happens. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, uh, how's it going? Just driving home. I thought I'd fucking ring up and tell you a story about one of my mates. Um, it's a bit of a ladies' man. Anyway, so we're up the Goldie, and um, he ends up pulling, pulling this bird, and they go back to the hotel... And um, anyway, start getting it on. Next minute, um, she's asking for him to put it in her ass. And, you know, the key to the is, he puts it in. And, um, you know, they're going at it. Next minute, as he pulls out, she ends up shitting all over his and all over the bed. And uh, from, from that, he just ends up throwing up all over her oh. back. <laughs> and there's just like a pile of shit and vomit oh. all through the bed. And um, so he jumps up, jumps in the shower, disgusted. Has a shower, cleans himself all up. And uh, when he comes back out of the shower, she's rolling around in it, in the bed, just just loving it, moving it up. And he absolutely freaks his shit and fucking hits the door and hits the legs. Oh, so like, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put down right now. I would have done the same thing. That's for, fucked. It's yeah. messed up. But someone's calling live. Let's just see what happens. Oh, we have a call live right now. Hi. Oi. Hola, como estas? Mi nombre es Matthew. Hey. Oi. Hey. What's going on? Oi, do shit. Do <laughs> 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 shit. Do <laughs> do shit. <laughs> no. No, you no. doing shit first, we'll do shit. <laughs> Oi, no, shit Where are you, bro? Do we do shit? We'll do shit if you do shit. Listen, I'm gonna do shit right now. Oh man, I'm fucking doing shit right now, bro. You film it, film it, let's shit. do shit. Shit first. I'm, 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 shit, mate. Shit, 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 That's, all, that's, the, yeah. that's the sort of calls we get here live. Yeah, so, so if look, you call, we may answer live sometimes. And look, that chick really committed to the whole do a shit thing. That's mm. pretty hectic. Man, I, I can't believe she wasn't embarrassed. She had vomit all over her she back. She like, like embraced it. Like yeah. imagine like you come out from the toilet and then they're like rolling in it sort I think of I'd like. I'd ask them to leave. I'd be like, I can't do this. Yeah, I, like, I'm into some freaky shit, but that's that's borderline What kind of pointless. shit are you it's, into? It's pointless. No, I'm not going to listen. No, come on, just into. one. No, no, Please, no, no, one. No, 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 come on, no, just no. One. you're not getting it out of me. But what I'm saying is, is like, that's just, I don't know. It's just, it's not sexy. Can you say freaky deaky? Freaky deaky. It's not, <laughs> it's not freaky deaky. Do you know what I mean? All right. Well, moving on from, look, we've got sex, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then like we had yeah, yeah. before that, we had some, I what was the one wait. before that? Uh, like shit or something shit. Yeah, do a shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, can, before we get going, I want to know, what would you rather come out, blood or shit? What would you rather deal with in the bed? Blood. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd go blood over shit, but yeah. neither are nice at all. <laughs> so look, we've had a bit of shit, we've had a bit of sex, and we've had a bit of like Matt's retirement plan. 
Now we're going to get into something of like every kid should know not to do too much of and probably wait till you're like 25 to start heavily doing. But it's um it's drugs and what can go wrong when you do too many drugs, okay? So drugs are only okay if you do them carefully. And, and responsibly. <laughs> this is what happens when you do not do them carefully. Hey, boys. Big fan. Um, little drunk story for you. Um, basically, we was drinking Dean and Dax. Had a bit too much pain, um, and kept forgetting um, that I'd taken the Zax. Basically, got down to 15 bricks. Oh! Um, and a bottle of coffee. Myself in the psychosis as well, watching your podcast. Oh, my God. I estimated that I was hanging out with you guys. The time zone, I'm paranoid. Um, and for two days, I was out of my mind with paranoia and oh my. crazy shit going through my head. And I spent two months at Rabina Mental Ward. Um, but I came out of it fucking. <laughs> so. That's that 15 bricks. Of he's done 15 bricks. And then he's tripped and thought that he's at time zone, which is like a, imagine an arcade for everyone which else overseas. Which is possible for us. At time zone with us. In service. Because he's watched the podcast. It's service paradise. Then he's had to go to a mental ward for two months. That imagine is having to go to a mental ward for two months because you just went a little too hard. Imagine Dude, just Zanies are no joke. Like seriously, Zanies are fucking, I've done the, the, uh, you 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 not who you are on on Zanies and Vanim, hence that night in Bali. It, you have enough benzo and it changes you. So always be careful, especially when you mix it with the uh, alcohol and cocaine. <laughs> yeah, cocaine. wow, that's Drink double. Drink God, yeah, that would be nice, but but don't. Yeah, yeah, that's um that's next level. I I could picture him missing in the mental hostel. I'm at time zone with Muddy Man, and Michael. So that, I'm at time zone with Muddy Michael. The thing that happens with MDMA happens with Zanax as well. You just forget. It's like, yeah, yeah repeat, as soon as he said that, like I just pictured the night. Fish memory. Yeah, I pictured that night with you and um and Prab doing that. Just keep that we, forgetting. Well, that night, that weekend, I had 10. Yeah. And um and you'd set alarms and they still wouldn't work. <sighs> Man, that makes me sick to think about the damage I've done to myself. No wonder I had all these issues with my nervous system. Yeah, look, you can overdo it, everybody, and you can, also, you can, and you can you also underdo it. it. You can, you, and you will regret it. So please, oh, if I could go back to that, that self, I'd fucking do it all over again. Talk about Laura. No, no, I'd do maybe forty percent less. I do, yeah, because some of those times, there's no mm. point. We're just. Like we don't remember. It doesn't any work. Of it. Yeah, it doesn't work after you don't a while. Remember anyway. it, and you're just sitting there. We don't. You don't say anything. We yeah. we didn't talk. We just sat there, <laughs> and every now and then we hand each other another cap. <laughs> oh, all right, Emily, we're coming for you. Oh, wish she... you. The person you are calling is not available. Please leave a short message, and it will be sent as an audio message. <laughs> you're a breast, bro. Fucking Emily, answer your phone. Yeah, wow. All right, look. Let's just give fucking Bailey a chat. We haven't spoken to him for a couple of weeks, so let's see what he's got for us. A nice short story, a Bender story. We all love a Bender, but one not as bad as fucking Rabina psych yeah, ward. You don't want any other mental hospital <laughs> team, man. It's probably fucking Bailey's mate who did that. Here we go. All right, Bailey. And you better not be f***ing with Emily. Right up to the microphone. Hello. Hey, guys. Dude, how are you? Where are Good. you? Good. What's happening? Oh, just doing the podcast, bro. We just fucking left Emily in a really abusive voicemail. Just, we, we just called her a breast. A breast? A breast. Like a tit. Fuck, that's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's going to recover from that. <laughs> that's what we thought. We wanted to really leave her we reeling. Wanted to, we wanted to dig deep, dude. Yeah, like, I wouldn't have went that far. <laughs> I can't, maybe we should call her. podcast from your little brother. Hey? I've, I've showed my little brother your podcast. He reckons you're a funny ass. Oh, oh wow. Really? How, oh, wow. Old, how old is your little brother? 17. 
Oh, wow, Fuck yeah. Go. Teaching awesome. the younger we're generation. Corrupting him. <laughs> I'm not to listen to my, my part of it. Oh, yeah. Well, look, yeah, true. You don't want him copying older brother sort of tales of the uh, benders. But yeah, speaking well, of benders, have have you got any benders for us, Bailey? Yes, I do. I've just got, I've got a good one. Um, <laughs> so when we are younger... Like, all the stories I'm telling you, I was always with the same bunch of lads, like, growing up. And we're always at the, the one house. So, he's, we're, we're at this house, and he had, like, this, probably, like, this three-car, like, garage at the very back of the house where we just took over and turned into, like, sort of just a man cave. And then we would be in there every weekend, and then it would be near the hallway where there's, like, big highway walls. That, like, one of the boys used to get into graffiti with his older brother. And then... One night, they were, like, going up there to, like, do graffiti on the highway walls at, like, one in the morning. And we're, like, in the garage. And then he's come sprinting back in, like, 45 minutes later, like, and we're all talking, yarn. And then he's come in. All his clothes are, like, ripped. He's bleeding and he's, like, um, put himself open. And when they were doing graffiti on the um, highway wall, the coppers, like, undercovers pulled up and chased him. And then... Well, the younger brother got away, and we were, like, trying to find, like, get on to the older brother, but he got, like, taken away to the station, and then he rocked up at, like, 4.30 in the morning with his charge papers and that for, like, what he got done with, and he still continued to get back on the bender. <laughs> oh, wow. As if nothing just happened, yeah. But his little brother, like, when we were calling his phone, because we didn't know where he was, the coppers answered their phone, and I was on the phone, like, saying, oh, hey, mate, and he's like, oh, we know you were the one with your mate doing, like, graffiti. I said, oh, fuck him. Definitely wasn't me. I said, I'm just calling him. And then <laughs> next minute, that, I don't know how it was sus as, but they've shone like spotlights on the backyard of where like we all were. And we all like had to like get down and hide. Oh, that would have oh, been so exciting. Yeah. It mm. was. It was a bit of a rush. Yeah. And then we've got another one. So I, just, I was just quickly throwing this other one in there. We used to always like just jump taxis and decide not pay for them. Yeah. So we all hopped in the taxi and there was like probably a like, 10 of us. And then we pulled up at the park and there was a pathway to get from the park to our mate's house. So we've all ran. And then the taxi driver of cases, which we didn't know. And then we tried to play it off that we weren't there. And one of the boy's sister opened the door and he was like screaming at a corner, like a bitch and this and that. And we were all like hiding in the house so we didn't get caught. And then the taxi driver caught her as fuck. And then my mate, like it was his sister. So he's like, He's jumped up, like, going off his head, saying, don't call my sister's And then he's, like, we've chased the taxi driver, and my mate grabbed the Breville machine and, like, f- lobbed it from a distance and smashed, like, the whole back of the taxi. Oh. And then, and then like, 10 minutes later, like, all those heaps of police around in the house. But we just pretended we weren't there and let his sister, her sister deal with it. Wow. Well, at least <laughs> that's, like, sort of good reality live TV for you. This would have been, yeah, like, exciting. Uh, like, that's better than not happening. Yeah, well, we're trying to like, trying to make it in some way. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make headlines, you get it? Yeah, yeah, fuck you. We're definitely like, what a Breville machine. You're trying to make toasties. Yeah, we're trying to like, yeah, put their, put their product out there for them. <laughs> That's good <laughs> shit, dude. Oh, Bailey, we can always rely on you for a good bender. So thank you very much. That's fine. No dramas. All right, and no. obviously you're not with Emily. Like that's still that's you. you yeah, that's I don't, still. I don't know, like, what you said to her, I might have to check up on that. Eh? Yeah, I feel bad. Maybe we should apologize. Just text an apology. That's for that. Well, funny. we're not we're not saying shit. You can just apologize to her, but that's it. And I don't want any physical contact with her. It's just a text message to her. Ah, oh, fuck that. <laughs> Okay. I'm not saying sorry to her. Okay, yeah, yeah oh, good. good. That's good. Okay. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She is a breast. Yeah. Yeah. I'll she say is it. a breast, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We, we stick together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bailey. Well, peace, brother, and we'll chat to you soon. See you, lads. See, See you, See you, dude. That was that. And look, that's ringing with your rings. That's, it's, yeah, that's did, the voice. Did you guys muscle. ever have to run from the cops when yeah. you were young? Yeah, heaps into yeah, Woomba. Yeah, to Woomba, definitely. What about you, Canberra? No, no, no. We're all nice kids down there. Oh, his parents were remember. the police. Yeah, I know. We so try- you, every time he ran from them, you'd be running from cops. Yeah, true. I have ran from cops. See? <laughs> yeah. Every fucking day of my life. Fucking yeah. oath. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes in Toowoomba, they'd have dogs and they'd let the dogs yeah. go. That's that crazy. Scariest. 
Oh man, that yeah. would have been so spooky. Palm dookie. Beach was was good for a little, you know, street party every now and then, and the cops would show up in force. You threw a, a tolly and smashed How it in do front you know of the cops. I, I was there. Fuck off. Not Michael's parents were the cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did happen. It wasn't a tolly, it was just a beer bottle. But Sorry. yeah, I remember lobbing it and I was, I was nothing out like of control. It. Nothing like seeing cops rock up at a party when you're a teenager. It's so exciting. It was so, no, but it was also shit because sometimes it would be over. Yeah. Like you got to go now. And then, oh, man. Mm. And then it's like everyone's just on the street going, what do we do? What do we do? Oh. And then you're just so bored. I remember after I that. got a, when I was sev- like 17, I got a drinking in public fine at a party and mum mm. had no idea that I was ever And then drank. the letter rocked up. Yeah. And then I, so <laughs> I had to be the first to check the mail every fucking oh, day. It was pressure. so stressful. But I managed to intercept it and I got uh, away with that scot free. See, my parents were so lovely. They were like, oh, Matt, you got a letter from the government. <laughs> Yeah, and mum would like, open it. If, mum would open that if I was not there. That's she shit parenting. They didn't know it had my name on it. Yeah, they were respectful. Yeah, yeah. My mum had no trust for me, and she would have opened it without me even being there. What that, about Marty's got a funny story about when he used to just do silly stuff with his mates, and one night he like they were just doing social experiments on the public where they just pretend to bash his other mate, another yeah. Michael. Yeah, I swear I've told that We've before. Done, yeah, we did oh, this man, as well. I love that. And then imagine like you're just trying to prank the public so you're out, you're a bit drunk with your mates and then you're pretending to bash your friend yeah, and then, and then you your all mom, get up and run together. Your mum walks past oh. and goes, Martin, is that you? Oh, <laughs> and then we legged it and then she called and I was denying it and I was just like, oh. and she's like so disappointed. And, she's and like, she thought you were on drugs? Yeah, yeah. She oh, did. that's so rough. That's rough. <sighs> and then I had to just call her back and come clean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go, sorry, mum, it's just the thing I do. I just like to pretend to bash my yeah. mate in public. Yeah, I was just, oh, we're just joking. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> <laughs> we're just drunk, not <laughs> on drugs. <laughs> oh, wow. Guten Tag, Wasser. <laughs> Don't. Sorry. Anyway, that is the voicemail segment. Please let us know what you think of the voicemail segments. I see mixed reviews. If you'd like us to shorten it to add something to cut it yeah. completely we can let improve it let us know yeah 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 all right let's f-ing have a f-ing massive fat bong break and we'll be right back with our fussy mm. little boys mm. oh it's a great one it's something Wait, that on. i no, used no, no, to no, no, eat no, no, in my stop. childhood is it fussy little boys or bamboozled we did bamboozled last week we switched it around have a bong break and suck mm. a man All right, and we're back. back. All right, guys, it's time for our fussy little boy segment. Hit it, Matt Brown. Quick, five, four, as long as your mum gets really sick. I can tell the future. Three, two, one. One, Fussy little boy, fussy little world. (laughs) These are fussy boys. Fuss, 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 fuss. Yeah, and this is a segment where Matt and Michael both have something exotic and unique to taste because they're both fussy little boys, and we're going to see who's the fussiest. And so this week, this this I'm excited this week because this reminds me of my little German childhood. No, yes, Michael's not happy about that, but this is genuinely (laughs) something delicious that us Germans used to eat. Fuck. And I'm excited for you guys to try it. All right, James. I'm going to let you introduce this, Marty, because this is your speciality. Okay, so. Is this oh, the food of your country? It's probably fucking. Well, like I don't know if it's specifically German, but, but Germans do eat this. Like, I know that for a fact. Oh, shout out to Jack. Jack, uh, one of our ringworms who recommended this to me. What a legend. So. Right here. What the fuck is roll moss? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so right dude. here, we have marinated roll mops from Holland House. Oh, fuck And off. this is basically herring fillets that are sitting in vinegar. So it's kind of like a pickle, but it's, instead of a cucumber in there, it's fish. Oh, dude. This is like surf trimming all over again. No, 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 no. This is much nicer than surf trimming. So these usually eat like while you're eating, you know, your, your rye bread and shit. You might pull one of these out. Shut up. Oh, dude. You can still see, you know, the little spiky bit on the fish back? Oh. You can still see it there just hanging on because it hasn't been scraped off. But it's Look like at Marty. Look at him. Look the at flavor him. is honestly not so bad. Because oh! yeah, usually, usually they come with no, you, they come with little sticks Fuck in. Fuck you! What's that? I'm it's not a little doing stick. it. They come with little sticks oh. to like keep them together. 
So it's just, it's like, it's just, it's kind of like having just picture like a pickle. You're having a little pickle. Mm, yeah, pickle. pickles are. And fuck. Germans are so fucking weird. Mm, it's yum. Does it's it a, smell? It's a great Can way you to smell preserve, it, Michael? It's a great way to preserve the fish. Mm. And the skin oh, so nice and tender. Is, is it salty? Then, as it as it separated, the flesh separated. It's vinegary. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. And like, do you reckon I'd like it? Very intense flavor. It's literally oh, like having. Ooh, it's literally like having a pickle. But oh, it's, sorry, the, it's just but picture the, the texture <laughs> the texture of a fish. Oh, he just tripped it on my. Like if it was oh, if it was crunchy, you would be like, oh, it's a pickle. Yeah, like it's not. Oh, bad. that's so much better than the beef liver. Yeah, oh, can yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Can I have a bit? Yeah, of, co- Ooh, uh, Matt, of course you can. <laughs> of course you can have Dude, a bit. You can. After flavor is pure fish. Oh! Put the whole, oh, I don't know if I can do put it. The whole thing in your mouth, boys. Texture. Oh Michael shit! Michael is really gonna struggle with this texture. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is it so pointy down the bottom? No, it's it's got a stick in it oh. to hold it together. The Don't eat the stick. Like, my, honestly, vinegar is like one of my favorite flavors. Yeah. It is so yum the vinegar. Oh, it's but it's the really nice. Math is rough. Oh, and, and the, it's it's quite a nice quite a nice texture too. Like it's uh, very got, tender. Very, oh, very fish tender breath, fish. Michael. I'm gonna have fish breath for days. Well, okay, Matt's going first. Have a proper mouth format. Shut up. Come on. Shut the Shut fuck up. This segment is nothing unless you have a proper mouth for you. Come on. Get some of that fish lips in there. Some skin. Or oh, scale in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not real. Oh, You've got on. to do more than that. That's come not on, real. Matt. That's, you're that's not even trying. Fun. Just have a bite of it. I want a different bit. Oh, yeah, dude, this is He's on, unrolling it. Yeah, so usually you would have this with like, you know, ah! some, something crunchy like a cucumber, <laughs> put it on some bread um, with some mince Why meat. Why is it so some, chewy? Some raw Ugh. mince meat. Uh, it's making on, me on tired. Some rye Why bread. Oh, so dude, it's chewy? so soft. It's it so really chewy. reminds me of my childhood. My granddad used to put dip this in coffee. Yep, no. You didn't shot. eat it. He's not I eating did. it. That's cheating. Shut up. It's hard. You try. Is did this you the hardest just thing? Hear what he said. Is this the hardest thing you've ever had to eat? Oh, yeah. This did is you hear that? Annoying. Yeah. My grandfather would put shit like this on his morning bread, and then grab his br- his rye bread sandwich and dip it in his coffee, and then bite it. And then by the end of his coffee, it would just be all floaty shit, and he'd show everyone, and everyone would get grossed out, and he'd piss himself laughing, and then down it. Fish coffee, dude. You, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, man. I'm only being opened up. I'm only opening up like this and you straight What's away this? hit me. Oh, dude. You're- come on, Matt. Did you meet? Uh, did you know him? Your granddad. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked. Don't eat the wood. <laughs> Fuck that I knew my granddad. <laughs> oh, oh, come string. on. There's string in your mouth. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now you get it. Oh. Oh, oh man, I'm, this is this is so. Do oh, do you have that makeup? is fucking disgusting. Do you have makeup on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's what he looks like when he's a bit tired. Mm. Oh, dude. Okay, all right, I'm past it. All right, I'm past okay. the bad shit. I, just I want to get rid of. The I can't eat it, but what do you man. give it out of ten? A uh, fucking one. Wow. One out of ten from Matt. That's the lowest. And what really? This is the worst. This is dude, worse than what? Like it what, smells bad. Is it raw? It's, yeah, it's raw, raw, but yeah, it's raw. cooked in acid. In Fuck a, you. In pickle. Don't pickle say fish. that. Sorry. Okay, uh, try I love mm. I want to see Fresh it. out of the oh, ocean. It's probably it's been in that can so for years. Dude, you're playing with it. It's warming up. Because it oh, preserves it so they can keep the fish in the can for years. It's just there's nothing delightful about mm. that. Oh, look at the fin. Mm. Look at the fin, Michael. Still got Fresh a fin on fish. it. Look at that. There's mm. nothing fucking delightful mm. about slimy that at all. Slimy skin. Really slimy skin. Oh, dude, I'm really struggling with this. Yeah, intense, <laughs> intense <laughs> vinegar <laughs> flavor. <laughs> and then the fish hits your lips. Lips. Come on. Mm, vinegar, vinegar, then fish. Fish delish. <laughs> oh. Okay, come on, Michael. Have a nice okay, big okay, okay. <laughs> A nice big bite of it. There you okay, go. Get in there. That's the way. And the sever the skin with your teeth. That's it. Yeah, yeah, once you sure, get past eh? it, it's vinegary. It's all right. See? It's not so bad. See? Yummy fish. <laughs> yummy, yummy <laughs> fish. Worse. Oh, fish! I've got nothing left. Wait until the vinegar goes away. Michael, you drop you... this bit. You drop this bit, Michael. Yeah. I need to leave. Um, this is turning into outrageous. Yeah, let's let's remain let's oh, remain sorry. scientific. Oh, Matt, stop playing on. with it. What do you think, Michael? It's pretty oh, good. 
What's like, all that coming off? Like What's you're that? not you're not meant to have it. you're not meant to have it. That's the meat shredding away because it's trying, so old. He's trying to smile to rush some some dopamine into his brain. What's um is that what is that? It's just really old ah! flesh. Old raw oh. flesh. Oh fuck it oh. <laughs> Old raw fish flesh. <laughs> Did you get any down or what? <laughs> I just followed it. That is so gross. Yeah, oh, dude, it's, not it's so on. weird and soft. All right, what do you give it's it like, out of 10? It's a I one. Shark. It's That's a shark. fucking one. What do you give it out of 10, Michael? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck off, Matt. I, I threw one bit. Matt, don't. Okay, I threw a what few bits. I'm sorry. Give? Fuck you, James. <laughs> You're being, Matt's being fat and you're being lame. Sorry, sorry. Lame James, <laughs> fat Matt. Stop. <laughs> this is <laughs> fucking gross. Yeah, yeah, dude, this is the but worst imagine one. Imagine it with like another meal, not oh, like a... Fucking oh. fish everywhere. <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't fucking deal with dude, it. Dude, it's not, it's, there's no, you can't put that with anything. Oh, yes, dude. That it's is like, the most disgusting. Like, that, that is fu- right, that's, like, okay. that's fuck. No, that. to dip, yeah. Imagine, hey, think oh, about like cracker, me. cracker, little bit of cheese, maybe yes, a bit of pickle, exactly. and a bit of that. Yeah, none of, none of that Replace sounds appealing. That. None know. of that sounds appealing. Oh, Matt, Replace, being, none of that sounds appealing Matt, to me. F- it's not that sounds appealing Matt, to don't me. Don't be fat. Sorry. Sorry. Now, also, it doesn't sound appealing to me. Now, look, think about this way, and this is something that Germans need to fucking realise. Yeah, they need to realise. Okay. There's, we, there's nothing we need to realise. If you have vinegar, oh. that, you're eating just vinegar there. That tastes oh, like vinegar. Oh, look at that bit. It's weird. Fl- Matt, don't be it. I guess. It's a way to preserve the fish, and it adds a really powerful flavour. I just think so you... So just repla- whatever you eat pickles with, replace it with fish. Now, you- yeah, but, like, why wouldn't you... You may as well just put vinegar in wood. Like, I'd rather have... Wood that tastes like vinegar no, over eat that wood. fish. Yeah, but it's just, it's that you're just drinking vinegar. Oh, sure I agree have with Have a glass of vinegar. Have a glass of vinegar. Yeah, I that's agree what that with But there you get Why protein, have a weird you get old protein, fish. Okay. you get your omega-3s, you get all sorts of nutrients from that. You would. If I don't you think got you a get... fish from the ocean, would you keep the fish forever? Well, that's why you put in vinegar to make oh. it last. If you have a big day fish and you've got enough of the family and you want to preserve but the other fish. it just fish. tastes like vinegar. So have a glass of vinegar. I'd rather have a fish fresh. Matt. <laughs> this is the most disgusting thing you've ever given us. Why are you oh, playing with it like that then? Oh, fish yuck, bits. dude. That was a good shot. What do you have to say to Jack Osborne who recommended this one? <laughs> oh. Matt. Fucking fish fight. Right, right, fish truce. fight. Fuck. We'll truce today. Fucking flake Wait, on we'll, me. We'll truce no, today. No, I'm not touching we'll you. We'll truce today. Oh. 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 You've oh! pissed Michael off, Jack. Jack, you've pissed Fuck Michael you off, guys. mate. Jack Osborne. Uh, yeah, great that suggestion. Like, that, this is literally Jack. on my... I forgot the name of oh, them because I was so young, but oh. I had this picture in my mind when we started this segment, but I couldn't think of what they were Dude. called. That, that was dead set the Dude, worst one you've given so, us. Really? I, yeah. No, that was so fucked. Are, are, like, uh, the beef liver I would rather oh, there's over this. Sabrina will see this and oh, she'll know. She'll have that, had this that's before. That's worse than the octopus? And so with Nicky. So now Nikki. the octopus was like... It was like... Um, yeah. Uh, uh, was what's the meat that's dried out? Jerky. Jerky. It was like beef jerky. It was. Fine. I haven't heard from Nikki for a while. Fish have we? Yeah, fine. Miss yeah, we should check in. Well, the uh, we're definitely yeah. going to get the Sabrina wrong. Sabrina will know what this is, and they will. They can confirm and Look, leave a comment. Nikki lady. and Sabrina are the only good Germans in this world, <laughs> and that's confirmed by me. Fuck. You man, sorry, I just That's, need to clean. He gets Can really you out of control in the he just loves a mess? Segment. Like he's just a I don't, mess I don't, I didn't fuck. want, I didn't want this. Writhing I don't want fish. that. You oh, guys put oh, this on fuck. me. Flake, I hate flake. <laughs> All right, look, let's move on. Okay, oh, let's right. move like on. Everywhere. Can we have a little bong control. break to go clean our little yeah. fussy hands? Yeah, well, we've got to hurry. Oh. We've got 24 minutes to finish this fucking app off. So, bloody go in there and fucking clean your claws. <laughs> Oh no, don't vomit. We're going to have a bong break so Michael can really savor the fish in the back of his oh, throat. Stop it. Stop little talking bones about it. And the Fuck. skin's still intact. Oh, yuck. Bong break.
And we're back, and we're back, and there's two segments left. We got sent something big in the P.O. box. Sabrina, we got your package, but we're not going to open it until next week because I have a feeling there are some treats inside, and we can't eat those treats right now because of the boxing fight. So we're going to open yours next week, and I cannot wait to indulge. And thank you for people who send us shit. If you want to send us shit, send it to P.O. Box 256, take them 4018. We open everything live on the podcast, Matthew Brown. What oh, do you have? Fuck it. Oh, sorry. Who's it from? Uh, it's from... Um, Hope Island. Hope Island. Hope. I don't even know if this is for the podcast, but I hope it is. It says something from... I think it's from a bow. Well, who does it oh, say? I it's know to? what it is. <laughs> is it podcast it's related? It's something golf related. Oh, so it's not podcast related? No. Oh, okay. Oh. It's okay. A, I think it's a, like a nine iron. <laughs> oh. What's this? This says peptides. Peptides, p- protein. Oh, it'd be for Luke. Oh, oh natural sick. biopeptide concentrate. Holy shit! Oh wait, They're, this is those fucking clang clang clangs. Dear Marty and Michael, in honor of your service, pig Bosley, love your work. Kept it up, boys. P.S. I have left a bottle of Recub for your health and gapped gut. Check out the website and give me a call to discuss potential sponsorship. PPS, if you need any prints, stickers, or signage done for the Brown or of the Brown, we will look after you. Your loving fans, Bo, Jet, and Jaren, Recover Australia. Okay, so they've Hell sent yeah. us this bipeptide protein concentrate. Apparently, some of the benefits are in, uh, normalize insulin levels, restore hair, skin, and nails, reduce pain and inflammation, boost muscle repair. Um, increase endurance and focus, enhance muscle strength and growth, improve organ function. Oh, lots dude, of other they things. sent you a beautiful photo of you and Boz. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, all right, fuck yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah, so um, check them out, guys. Recov, let us know if you've seen them. It's R E C O V. And um, we'll start taking these after the boxing and we'll we'll let you guys know um, how we feel. James, are you going to take some of these with me? Yeah, yeah, well, fucking oath, we can, brother. I wonder if this I've always wanted to do t- peptides. Bi peptide. So oh, it's okay. like a it's, it's, like, it's wants both male and female. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's really relevant these days. It makes you bisexual. <laughs> oh, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite pictures. Oh, that is f-ing great. On my How wedding lovely. Day. What a fucking legend. Thank, Thank you, you so much. This is what is this a, a sticker? Does this go on oh, no, is, oh, is this that sticker a on a wall? I think it's a sticker for a wall. Is Dude. That a this is hectic that, as shit. Like Thank ass. you so much. Not only for the supplements, but this. This is beautiful. This is going. I'm going to add this to my shrine of Bosley that I have at home. You got a shrine? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow, I haven't seen the shrine. Yeah, it's in my bedroom. Uh, if you want to follow these guys, you can follow them at uh, at Aww. Recov Australia. R e c o v Australia. Thank you very much, That's guys. That's lovely. That's the best PO box that we've ever been given in the history of this podcast. Well, but we'll see. Sabrina's got one coming next week. So we've been sent some great things. Yeah, thank you so much. That's yeah. lovely. We'll start taking those and look. We'll fucking. We'll see what happens, eh? Off <laughs> over that, we eh? We might have enough sponsor for the podcast. Imagine if we get fucking massive. Oh man. And Matt's gout gets worse. I got my gout under somewhat of control. Oh wow! That's is it? Good. Is do you think it's from adjusting diet slightly has helped? Um. Oh, it'll definitely do something. But um, you got some new methods. No, 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 I've just been changing a few things. More water. Clothes. Clothes. Better clothes. Have you been sleeping? Been sleeping more. <laughs> 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 All right, All it's right. time for the final segment. We're going to do a fucking big old prank call. Hit it, Brown. Oh, oh the time is here. You have all the questions. Pick up your phone with the best of sex. And we've got prank lots of dances. It's you. prank call time. And this is a segment where we prank call people. Now, we get all your suggestions. All right. Now, if you want to send us some prank call suggestions, send them to 04666022303. We do read them all. And believe it or not, we do ring a lot of them every single week, but most of the time they don't answer. So if you're going, what the fuck aren't they fucking doing the fucking prank call I did? It's because the people we call very rarely answer because we're calling off a private number sometimes. And um, so that's why. All right. So don't think that we're ignoring you. Send through your prank call. And and it, all the times we do the do is shit prank calls, it's when all the other ones you guys have sent us have failed. And this is, I'm going to call as Darren. 
right? And I'm going to uh, basically allude to the fact that I've stolen some laptops and that I can't get into them and that I need Bernie's help. Hello? Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, my name's Darren. Um, I'm just calling you. Um, do you use do lock like, computer, lock like, stuff, uh, lock like, fixing them and shit like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. See, um, I've just um, I've just got um two laptops, right? Um, and I um I've forgotten like that um you know like when you open it and like you got to type in like password and that. I've yep. I've I've forgotten it for like both of them. Uh, um and or like I don't know how to like um get in or and that so I was like wondering like is there something you can do like yep. and and like yeah, fix it up or something that. is that something you do they yeah I've got some tricks yeah okay sick and then like once if you like get in and that like um is there like a way to like um like kind of like wipe whatever's on it and that like because like. I just want to like start start it again, like from oh, yeah, from scratch. Yes, yeah. so like once I I get in, you know how to like wipe it, make it like make it look like it's basically like brand new on that. Yeah, yeah, I can just make you a new user, so right. you can just swap to the new user, and it'll be all fresh, and your programs will still be there. Nah, that's sick. That's sick. Um, and do you like once once we've done that, one of them's got like. Um, it's got like writing on the um outside of it. It's got like someone else's name on it. Do you have like is is there like a way to like it's like engraved on? Is there like a way to like replace like the outside of it or something? Because like I don't. Yeah, not unless you got the same laptop. Yeah, which right. is pretty hard because they make thousands of different ones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. But so we can get in, but and then we can wipe it clean, and then that yeah. should be we should be able to sell it from there. Is that right? Yep. Yep. So we we can do that with both of them. Yeah, yeah. As long as they're still working, I can. Um, I'm pretty sure, like I'm pretty sure, like they still work. And like when I open them up, like I found them, I I, I bought them um, from like um, like a university, um, this university fella. Um, I just I got them from there, and um, okay. so so like they work when I open them up. Like the screen turns on and that. But like, like I haven't been like you know in them yet. But I'm I'm assuming like you know they they look good. Like they fucking look like one of them looks like pretty like new and that. I was like fuck, I couldn't believe I found it. Couldn't, right. couldn't yep. So um, how much do you charge? Like just just like whip it in fucking yeah. and wipe it. How much do you charge for that? I got because I got to like work out uh, like profits and that. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it depends how hard it is to get past the passwords. Sometimes yeah. it's easy and sometimes it's a bit more long-winded. If it's, like, um, connected to someone else's, like, um, like, if someone else has, like, owned it prior to me, like, which I'm pretty yeah. sure they have, like, yeah. is it easy, like, once we're in, like, can we just, like, quick, like, wipe it like that and then they don't know, like... That like nothing will come up on their end, no. like nothing will come up no, on their end saying so. nothing. Like so, Scott Free, we done it. No, no, it shouldn't come up. All right, fuck, that's fucking hectic, Bernie. All right, well, that's sick. As uh, so, how much? I oh, know you saying like how hard, yeah, how hard it is to get in um, and that, but like a rough ballpark know. figure. Like how are we talking? Yeah, I can pay cash. Yep, yeah, probably eighty bucks, hundred bucks. All right, sick. Of- and like one of them looks like. It's pretty new. Like, how much do you reckon I could flick it for, like, a brand new Mac? Yeah, I'd have to see. Yeah. Oh, it's a Mac? Yeah, one's a Mac. Yeah, oh, and the other okay. one's, I don't even yeah, know. I've never even one. seen the logo on it. Like, I don't even know what that one is. Yeah, I don't do any Macs. Um, oh. they're, they're a whole different kettle of fish. You have trouble getting past that one, maybe. Oh, right. So there's not, because that's kind of the one I was hoping I was make a bit of money on, you know, because, like, yeah, I yeah. found that one. No. Couldn't believe it. Um, My luck. The the Apple people I know are at, um, they're called Less Stress, L-E-S-S. Are they like, they like, does Apple like employ them in that or are they like off the no, books no, and shit? Like I can go there. Computer people. Like yeah, they're, yeah. yeah, they're not going to like, you know, like no, chase up, care. chase up like the old user and all that. They don't no, do no. any of that shit. No, you, they're just interested in fixing the computer. So. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. Probably best to give them a call and um, they'll be able to fix up both of them. 
Yeah, okay. All right, sick. Um, and, like, let's just say, like, uh, if someone reports, like, a laptop missing and that to the cops and yeah. shit, like, is there any way, like, if once we's, like, wiped it and that, that they's, that the cops can, like, um, kind of, like, if I sell it, I and once it's wiped, once it's wiped, like, is there a way they can, like, unwipe it and see, like, that I've, mm. I've sold it? Possible. I don't know. I've never really looked into it. Yeah. Um, but usually once it's wiped, you know, that's it. But who knows nowadays they might have things hidden inside the laptop that's got little sensors on them, hard to tell. Yeah, right. Well look, Bernie Lock, I'm gonna level I'm gonna level with I'm gonna level with you, Bernie Lock. Yep. I can get you like I'm talking like ten, twenty, maybe even some weeks like thirty laptops. Um a, 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 a go, right? So I'm I'm thinking like Bernie, you seem like a good look, and I feel like we've like on the same like level and that. So I'm I'm thinking maybe we can work out like some kind of deal in that way. I bring the lappies in, right? And you saying you saying you can pay eighty for it, mate? Oh, I'll pay two hundred, two hundred a lappy, right? I'm talking yeah. twenty, thirty lappies a week, bro. Look, all yeah, you've got all you've got to do. All he's got to do is get in on it, wipe it, hand it back, right? No, yeah. All cashy, all cashy. Say it, no, I don't even know no, nothing on the books. Nothing, no, cops can't yeah. touch. They can't no, touch. Sounds good, but yeah, probably not for me. I'm all above board nowadays. I've got to keep my nose clean. But thanks anyway. Right, right. No, well, Bernie, right, look, if, you, if, if you ever change your mind, Bernie, I'm only yeah. phone call away, mate, and I feel like we're blood. Look, I've got a feeling in my bones that we could fucking work together, brother. Look, I've yeah. got this. I've got there's something about you and your voice. I just feel it in me, and I feel like what you like. You got a bad streak about you, brother. Bernie's a bit yeah. of a fucking bad dog back in the day, brother. <laughs> You are, aren't you, Bernie? Oh, Dave? <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> do anything like that. <laughs> Oi, Bernie, do shit. Oi, do a shit, Bernie. I reckon do a shit, brother. I'm going to fucking do a yeah. shit. You do a shit, brother. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know too many leaks. People now, so right, all right, mate. Keep it all straight. All so right, mate. Good well, luck with your search. Yeah, what was the name of that company you said that does, Max? Less stress, they're called. L E double S. Do you reckon they might jump into business with me in that? Maybe. All right. They're pretty straight laced. You'd need some some backyard or something, maybe. Bernie, I fucking okay. I love you, and I love your honesty, and I feel like like we have a deep connection. Like yeah. from now, from this moment forth, if you ever need anything, you let me all know. Right. You are my I'll blood. Keep you in mind. You are my okay. blood brother for life. Thanks, I mean buddy. that. I mean it, all right? all right? Love you so much. Right. Love you. Dude, I love I love yeah. Darren gets more like when he's more giggly and animated with that shit. He was laughing. Man, he was so hard to get that guy like. <laughs> he's to, just trying to run a he's just trying to run a business, <laughs> like a legitimate business. <laughs> he was so hard to get that guy to like disagree Catch with on. anything. Yeah, yeah no, he was, was just he was up for anything. So I apart couldn't get him from to doing disagree. Business. But yeah, he, man, he didn't want to do his shit either, unfortunately, <laughs> which would have been lovely. He, he didn't even like, like what the he didn't even entertain the shit idea. He just I would have really loved to see. Him. <laughs> I'd oh. love to see Bernie's shit too. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five star review. Is how we keep this whole train moving. Oh. If we've given you a little giggle, just give us the bloody thumbs up. And thank you so much for listening. And we'll be right back uh, next week in seven days. Thank. <laughs> Thank we're you. the best, we're, we're, the, we're, best, we're the 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 best, we're
One for the purest, Danny? Yeah, well, oh. more, more so, yeah. He's jabbing, jabbing nicely. Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles is jabbing nicely this round. Tagged in, oh shit, he's going straight back. He's gone, no, 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 no. CTC chance, go up. Oh. One, two, three, go. There we go. Boys all had a go, gave their all. No one, no one dogged it. Yeah. They all put in. Well done, fellas. So Your winner, falling out of the red corner. Yeah.